Fort Street. Still a lot of construction here. Some water, buddy. There's the 4th Precinct, I believe. Yep, 4th Precinct. Southwest Public Safety with the Fire Department also. If everyone, anyone's ever going to buy this building, turn it into a warehouse or something. I doubt it. But you never know. It could turn into some lofts or something. When they open these pedestrian bridges, I'll uh, take you on a tour. Really cool. Walk across there. Let's see, where am I here? Street signs. Junction Street. Taking you guys down here before, so I'm gonna check this out. I had to look into what this building used to be. The corner of Fort Street and Junction. Legal dumping. I've seen worse though. Right, well, this is um, Morrell Street. Let's see what's down here. I a, don't recall coming down here. All right. That's a scrap yard. Scrap recycling yard. Transport pallet company. Oh, got some beer over there. <laughs> I don't drink though, really. Oh man, there's something to live there. Imagine live. Well, not that anyone ever lived there, but right next to these train tracks. It's a cool view. Look at this, Celia. Those birds. Looks like we have occupancy there, one house. It's an empty house, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, most likely. So much land here. Alright, well, I'm getting off topic, obviously. So let's go back to Fort Street. It's interesting, huh? I don't know what that is. Some kind of business.
I'm not sure what business that is. It's, I think it says Forgotten Harvest. Yeah, but it's uh, closed through July 4th to sometime this month. back down to Fort Street through this uh, forestry here. to the Michigan Interchange, the underpass for the Cordia International Bridge, entrance and exits. This first bridge would be going to I-75 northbound from the bridge, and the second one would be the exit on ramp to the bridge from 75 north. Down here, the opposite. This is going to and from I-75 north and south. Won't be long. You'll see a bunch of semi trucks up there on those bridges. Some people think there's not going to be any traffic, but believe me, it will be some traffic. We actually have a lot of jobs coming back to the Michigan area. And I know the Canadian viewers, I know they're upset about the tariffs, but all I can say is now you know how we felt back in the 90s when all our jobs left, the majority of our jobs anyway, and the city went to ruins in a lot of areas. So all I can say American job I mean you know like American companies should have their manufacturing in America I and mean, it makes sense. This here looks like it's going to be a new warehouse right here. Corner of Fort and Waterman. It's like one of those Amazon warehouses. What's the date today, buddy? Celia? August 18th. Green Street. Nick close to Alright. Have to go back. Detroit Produce Terminal.
will have to go back down to Campbell Street and take the detour. And um, all right, well, thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you at the bridge.